More than two months ago, Sky West pulled its daily commercial flights from the Chico Airport. Now one North State company is looking to fill the gap left behind. Action News Now reporter Brian Johnson joins us now live from the Chico Airport to explain. Brian? Alan, Debbie, many of our viewers may know PJ Helicopters, but they may not know that the Red Bluff-based company is looking into charter air services. I'm also told at this point the company is building a warehouse in Red Bluff to house these three airplanes. It's a pleasure to fly. It puts a smile on my face every time I get in it. And PJ Air, a new branch of Red Bluff-based PJ Helicopters, is hoping it will put a smile on your face by providing you with business or private charter plane services to regional hubs and beyond in a response to the end of commercial flights in and out of the Chico Airport back in December. We saw a significant need for the area when SkyWest left in December of last year, and there was anywhere from you know 30 to 50,000 travelers annually coming in and out of Chico. And I think any Californian would make an argument that uh, economic development and growth is a great thing. And so you have an entity who's willing to provide commuter air service that this community is desirous of, since we don't have the commercial air service at this time. So we're excited to see what they bring forward, and we're hopeful that it'll meet the need of our community. And right now, this Pilatus PC-12 single-engine turboprop aircraft... Comfort, style, at a great price. ...is operating under Part 135 of the FAA and offering unscheduled flights with the potential for scheduled flights in the future. Begging the question, could PJ Air be the future of the Chico Airport? Well, we're certainly optimistic. Um, our main objective with this is to do it right. So like I said, it may take a while for us to determine what the business needs are and the private needs here in Chico, but we certainly think there's a market. After all, they're still taking off with the goal of making transport in and out of Chico as smooth as the ride itself. Now, city manager Mark Orm tells me we can expect to revisit the future of the Chico Airport, including a possible deal with an operations company based out of Virginia in the next month or so. Reporting live at the Chico Airport for Action News Now, I'm Brian Johnson.